a lot of beach volleyball stars have taken to the snow and they're thoroughly enjoying it as well when speaking to them all around the resort, particularly in the Kustal. Afterwards, people speak about it so positively. They want the sport to grow. They want to grow with it. And they want more and more people to come and get involved. And it's the kind of sport that just gathers traction, that grows. Because people come, they watch, and they stick around. People come and watch for five minutes and end up missing their skiing in the afternoon, such as the excitement here at the CEV European Snow Volley Championships in Vagrain. A very warm welcome to you wherever you're watching around the world. I believe we've got viewers in Czechia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Cyprus, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Kosovo, Macedonia, Montenegro, Estonia, Lithuania, San Marino, Ukraine, even the Vatican City. So wherever you are watching from, a very warm welcome to you all. If I've missed your country out there, then don't forget to get involved on social, whether it's Instagram, whether it's Twitter. We would like to wish you a very warm welcome and we'd love to know where you're watching from. This is a very exciting journey that snow volleyball is on. It's expanded through Europe and the FIVB, the International Federation, are aiming to have a world tour and then a world championships in the coming years. So the next match is a couple of moments away, but now it is time to go courtside with Pedro Cunha. The first ever snow volleyball European championships. Great at atmosphere. Yeah, it's amazing here in the mountain with such a great view. The crowd is amazing, uh, cheering, enjoying uh, the games. The weather is great over the weekend, so having a lot of fun here. Yeah, you can say the weather's helping a lot, huh? Yeah, for sure. Uh, when it's really cold, snowing and foggy, I don't like it that much. But uh, with that weather, it's uh, perfect snow volleyball conditions. And I think it's very good to be your home country who's hosting the first ever snow volleyball European Championships. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, the team from Chaka 2 who brought snow volleyball on that level, I think they really deserved it uh, to organize the first uh, European Championships. So uh, I'm really proud to be part of it, uh, that I was allowed to play here. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun for me to entertain the crowd. A little bit uh, disappointed that we lost uh, the quarterfinal yesterday against Russia. But they played really well, so they deserve it. And uh, I wish them all the best for today. Yeah, Russia is such a good team. All the Russian teams are good. Yeah, you really have to say, they take it really professional. They, uh, the team we lost, they, they won the European Tour, they played the whole events. So they really know how to play on the snow. For us, it was the first event. We gave everything we had. It was not enough. So uh, we will come back next year to, to, to be ready for the revenge. We'll be here again. Cool. OK, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. Pedro Cunha courtside there, just moments away from the men's bronze medal match. Yuri Bogatov and Maxim Hudyakov of Russia against Lithuania's Lukas Kazdailis and Arnas Rum Sevitsius. Russia missed out to the ninth seeds, Germany, in the semi finals. They've had an incredible run. Paul Becker and Jonas Schroeder guaranteeing themselves a silver medal by getting into the final at least. They'll be taking on the Kings of Snow a little bit later. And in fact, just looking at their uh, just looking at their record in the competition, the Germans, they will be full of confidence going into this. They are the German national champions, and of course, when it comes to major competitions, you can never count any German side off whatsoever. But let's focus on the bronze medal match right now. It's Russia's Yuri Bogatov and Maxim Hudyakov against Lithuania's Lukas Kazdailis and Arnas Rumsevicius. Pedro Cunha has just taken his seat alongside me. You were just caught side there. We've got a great crowd building up here, Pedro. We've had one medal already. Now it's time to see the men's bronze medalist. And it felt like a fantastic atmosphere when you were down there. It does have a fantastic atmosphere. And I'm excited to see the sky balls for the next match. I love it. Well, it poses a different threat, doesn't it? Because, of course, when you send the sky balls up in the, in the wind and in the snow, it's one thing. But now the sun is so high in the sky, you're going to be having to spot it. It's going to be coming out of the sunshine. It's going to be so difficult to get that pass on it off the back of the sky ball. 
it's going to be very difficult. It's a trick serve. It's not so usual, but it, when it works, it makes it really difficult for the other, for the other team to pass. The referees have been introduced for this one. Yasmin Akinci from Turkey and Massimo Viseglia from Italy are the first and second referees, respectively. Arnas Runsebikus, the first to be introduced. We're in number one, 22 years of age, 195 centimeters. He's known as Simba by his friends. And Lucas Castailis, these two, both the same age. Castailis slightly taller at 197 centimeters, but they know each other. They play beach volleyball alongside each other. And even though this is a very different sport, to know your partner inside out difference, even when you're so inexperienced at 22 years of age. Especially if they can play the whole season together, beach and snow volleyball. Here come the Russians though. They're the Russian second seeded side, of course, the top seeds in the final. Yuri Bogatov is wearing number one. He is known as the Bull. He's a 190 centimeter powerhouse with a real pedigree on the beach. And he's got three silvers on the tour this season and one gold in Bukhariani. Maxim Hudyakov is wearing number two. He's a national medalist also. And on the beach, he's won on the EEVZA tour in 2015. Great to see so many people coming from the beach onto the snow, bringing real pedigree to this competition, growing along with the sport as the competition continues to improve. Lithuania in the red jerseys, Russia in the blue for the bronze medal here in Vagrain. And that service goes a little bit long. We'll put that one down to adrenaline, shall we? You know that I played Bogatov a couple of times at the beach. And I admit, I didn't like to play the guy. He's a, he's a tough competitor. He was. He was very much. That is the voice of Pedro Cunha. Brazilian beach volleyball player. And now an ambassador of snow volleyball. A couple of mistakes off the Lithuanian serve early. They can't afford to be continuing with those as this bronze medal final goes on. Consistency the key here. Russia into a handy 3-1 lead early on in this match. Handy point there for Lithuania to make it 2-3. If you're just joining us, you've already missed the women's bronze medal match. Latvia taking bronze there. Lithuania and Russia competing for this men's bronze medal. Bogatov with the pass. And has that just dropped on the line? No, it's gone long. Our commentary position is in between the baseline and the net on the Russian side. And we're just behind the crowd, but of course, so many people flooding around to watch. Every now and then we get completely blocked off by spectators. So that one's off the block and drops in for Russia, which of course is great for the sport and great for the event, but not great for us watching the match. Not at all. <laughs> so at the first change of ends, they change on seven points. Russia just in front. They lead Lithuania by four points to three. And served through Hudyakov. Powerfully off the block there by Kazdailis. Really got the chance to get his right hand through that one. Four, four. Little tip this time from Bogatov. Rumsevicius pointing at the ball mark there. The Lithuanians believe that one dropped wide. But the referee sticking with the decision to Russia back into the lead. 4 5. For Bogatov to serve. 
Kazdailis with the pass. Not able to get much on that spike there, so an opportunity on the counter-attack now for Russia that they take full advantage of. Budyakov. Back in Lithuania. A lot better from them there, and this one tight. Well, this one not really settled down yet. Pedro, Russia marginally better, hence the score of 7 5. In my opinion, to serve Bogatov is not a very good strategy. He can go really high when hitting. Manager just gets something on that as well and rolls it over. Just proving there, Rakusov, that sometimes precision is more important than power. Did so well to get the pass in and then just the roll shot to extend the lead, 8-5, but then makes the mistake. That's a let off there for Rumsevicius and Kazdailis. And 6-8, Lithuania will be pleased to still be in touch because they've made a few mistakes and they've not really been able to express themselves in this bronze medal final so far. Especially in the serve. When you play at your 11, Every point counts. Oh, just as you say, especially the I serve. I just said it. Kazdailis dumps one into the net. Okay, if you want to make a strong serve, that's fine to make mistakes. But if you want just to pass the ball to the other side, no mistakes are allowed. Here goes Kazdailis, then smashes down. That's the first time we've seen him really get through it with the right hand. And that a very difficult shot to stop. Bogatov has a very good block, but he was not afraid of him. 7-9. Not a better serve, but a good pass there from Rakusov, who goes up and gets blocked. But Bogatov does well to keep it alive. Here goes Kazdailis. Oh, exchange of first balls. Rakusov trying to catch Rumsevicius flat-footed, but he spots the gap and they're back within one and Russia call the timeout. Nice call. They are so close to finish the set. And the Lithuanian guys, they've scored the last two points, so it's a good timeout. Well, Pavel Rakusov is just... Just trying to catch Lithuania off guard there, getting it over the net. But fair dues to Rutsuvikius. Came back, spotted the gap, and of course, give yourself the opportunity on the first, the second, or the third ball. All the points count the same. And Lithuania getting stronger as this set goes on. But have they left their resurgence too long? Arnas Rutsuvikius to serve. Lithuania 8, Russia 9 in this race to 11. Off the block and winning the point. That brings us to set point. And the timeout works. Call the timeout, win the point, put yourselves back in control. Sometimes a timeout can win a match. Rakusov to serve. However, on the second ball. Catching Bogatov off guard, but he gets up, responds, gets over the top of Rumsevicius. And Russia take the first set 11 8. It was good to see them focusing the whole set from the very first point. That's important. When you play on 2 11, every point is important. They kept going and going, they didn't lose focus any time of the set.
Well, the Millennium Dancers are back out there entertaining the crowds, and it's pretty much a full house here now at the Snow Space Salzburg Arena here in Wagrain for the CEV Snow Volleyball European Championships. And just during the break there, that interview you did before the match starts, it's so great to see so many people here that were here at the very beginning of this sport all those years ago, and they must be so proud of what it's evolved into as the time's gone on. Yeah, I'm sure they are. It's been maybe 10 years that they've been hosting snow volleyball here in Wagrain. And to be accomplished with such an event, the first European snow volleyball championships. Great atmosphere here. Well, from a group of friends putting a competition on that's now recognized by the CEV and the FIVB. Incredible achievement. And this is the bronze medal match, Russia serving through Pavel Rukasov. It's important to mention, to remember, that snow volleyball was in Pyeongchang last March as an exhibition in the Austrian house. Maybe we have the first sport to be in both summer and winter Olympic Games. Well, what a remarkable achievement that would be. Both teams exchanging service errors at the top of the second set. Bogatov to serve this time. Oh, comes up with the block as well, but they get a second bite at the cherry, and Kazdailis recovers well. Well, you said about Bogatov's block, didn't you? That the first time we've really seen it. But Kazdailis gets away with it this time. Lithuania lead 2 1. That kind of mistake is allowed. I mean, he tried to make a strong serve, then he made a mistake. Okay but not when you try just to pass the ball. Yeah, the risk and reward strategy. There goes that Bogotov block again, but well defended by Lithuania. This time Rumsevicius is the man at the net, can't get up as high. Oh, but that's brilliantly done, but they can't quite get enough. First of all, Kazdailis gets down, Rumsevicius keeps it alive, but it's so difficult then to return it. Especially on the snow, because there's just no give whatsoever. As soon as you move your arm, your knee slides. And yeah, the mobility is not the same as, this, uh, as the sand. Well, hence the reason they're wearing those football boots with studs on. To try and give themselves a little bit more grip. As Kazdailis goes up this time. It's a nice pass from Rumsevicius. 3-3. Three, three. But even with the studs, you're not guaranteed traction, are you? There's still slipping on that surface. Seen a few people with studs, a few people with mountain boots. This time Bogotov with the set and that lovely float shot then from Rakusov. And he fell through the net then. He really enjoyed that one. The team's low five as they pass into the net. Russia back into the lead here. Four points to three. Bogatov serves. Off the block from Runcevicius to level things up. You see with that uh, Yuri Bogatov serve, because he's so tall, it's almost like a tennis serve and it's on the way down over the net as opposed to having to go up then down again. That a real asset to have. That makes things easier. Oh, an overpass there, punished by Runcevicius. That's the kind of point that gives you a lot of confidence. Yeah. It's an easy finish, but it allows you to express yourself. You can hammer down on it, get a good connection, win the point. Oh, massive block this time. Rumsevicius, the man that goes up. Rakusov was a long way away from the net to try and power through with that one. And Rumsevicius punishes him, 6-4. And it's a good run of points here for Lithuania. And Russia call for the timeout. 7-4, this much better from the team in red, and it has to be. That's why they called the timeout. It's important to be back on track when it finishes. 
Otherwise, the set's going to be gone. Well, Russia took the opener, 11 points to eight. We've been playing best of three throughout the competition, but this bronze medal final, best of five. Let's see how they react. Because when you play in two, only three sets, you can give your best on the first two and then go to for the third one. But when you have five sets, it goes longer. It can go longer. So they probably they must save some energy for the fourth and fifth set. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you can't save too much energy because the last thing you want to do is leave something out there on the court. Lithuania, 7-4 to the good. Lukas Kazdailis to serve. Rumovicius waits at the net. Oh, and makes another block in quick succession. He's got it well a couple of times in the last few points. Eight four now. Now Kazdailis off the block and Lithuania hitting their straps here. Nine four they go up. Kazdailis to serve this time. Russia go back over on the first ball looking to catch them out, but all they've done is set up Kazdailis, but he hits it wide. He thinks that one's off the block. He thought Bogatov had got a hand on that. And the second referee and the first referee are going to go and have a conversation. I'm not sure what happened. Let's say, yeah, the ball was out. Didn't touch anyone. I think both referees are sure that that happened. Good point for Russia. Second referee Massimo Visciglia from Italy was in a great position to see that one. Lithuania still in control in this second set, though. Oh, wonderful defense. They go over on the second ball. So difficult to control the response, and they win the points at the net, but that all came off the back of Pavel Rakosov getting that stiff right arm out. Defending Kazdailis' attack. And that's two points in a row for them now, 6-9. Plenty of space in behind now. And that brings us to set point. What a bronze medal final we have in prospect here. Still a little bit of work for Lithuania to do, but it's looking like we're going to be squared up at one set apiece. Arnas Runsevicius will serve for the set. Oh, and a massive block to win it. Kazdaeus goes up and steps Rakosov back down onto the snow. Lithuania 11, Russia 6, and it is one set all in the bronze medal final. What a great way to finish the set. Great block. The great thing about the sport as well is there'll be many people here that are not necessarily volleyball fans, but it's an easy game to pick up. So they'll come here, they'll get the gist of what's happening, and I'm just keeping my eye out now. We've got a full house here. People are going to have to squeeze up as more spectators arrive, but I don't think many of these are going to be leaving the venue because there's so much great sport still to come. Yeah, there's great music. We have some drinks here. We have great volleyball. It's getting more and more crowded over the time. Well, this venue at the top of the flying Mozart lift, 1,850 meters above sea level. And we go for set three of the bronze medal final in the 2018 CEV Snow Volleyball European Championships. There go the Lithuanians trying to rev up the crowd. Kazdail is getting into the beat. Oh, the party really starting here. Lithuania get us underway. That one drifted just long from Russia. Isn't it amazing? After the break, we invariably see a little mistake at the beginning just as the teams look to settle in once again. But of course, playing up to 11, you don't have that time to settle in, do you? 
You don't. Every point counts, as, as I said before. You cannot afford to make so many mistakes as the Russian team is doing. Oh, another block goes up from Kazailis, but this time Bogatov strong enough to win the point. Rakusov to serve. Kazailis did so well there from so far back, and you can see how difficult the conditions are. The slip comes in from Rumsevicius. And that's the challenge you're up against, isn't it? It's not just your opponents. Even with the football shoes, it's very, very slippery. I never tried to play a whole match, but I just tried to hit some balls. It's really difficult, I'm telling you. But of course, being on the beach has its own challenges as well. And that's one of the beauties of the sport, is you have to get used to moving on the sand, just like these guys have to get used to moving on the snow. That's a miss from Kazdailis. The sand can get very deep. But here, you have, you have icy snow. So it just changes the way you try to move on the court. Pavel Rakosov. Well, he goes to the same place, but with more success this time. Kazdailis makes it 3-2. Well, more people making their way past our commentary position. Fantastic crowds here at the Snow Space Salzburg Arena. Oh, on the second ball. Kazailis goes diving to his right like a football goalkeeper, but there's no stopping that from Bogatov. 4-2. The pass from Kazailis. Rumovicia sets him up, battle at the net, won by Bogatov. And they have a second go at it. And now Russia have the opportunity. Rakusov's blocked by Rumovicia, who blocks him once again. But eventually, the pressure tells. And Russia win the point. And at the change of ends, 5-2 is the score. That's the biggest advantage anyone's had at this point. I was talking before about the length of the, of the match. Now we have best of out of five. And the Lithuanian guys, they seem a little bit tired. That didn't happen in the other matches. Well, no sign of fatigue there, though. Kazdail is hammering down on Rakusov. Three, five. Savitsius to serve. Rakusov with the pass and a beautiful touch from Bogatov. 3-6. That Rakusov, he's not got the most height, but he's got a real bag of tricks when it comes to shots. He's won some excellent points in this match. He does. It, this is very important to no, know because as you can, you cannot move it properly. When you do some tricky shots, it's difficult for the other team to defend. So tough to get your feet back into position to make the return shots. Lithuania win the point that time though, 4-6. Oh, massive block this time from Bogatov. Rumsevicia swung the left hand at it, but Bogatov read it all the way. Sent it back with interest, 7-4. Bogatov is showing that I was not lying when I said yeah. he has good, good luck. Well, from winning that point, he goes back to serve. Oh, Ooh, wow. It didn't look good. Kazdailis <laughs> smashing Rakusov's sunglasses off. He's reset himself, he looks okay. Kazdailis raises the left hand to apologize, but not before he celebrated that with Rumsovicius. Of course, none of these players ever mean each other any harm, but sometimes these things happen in an aggressive sport like snow volleyball. It does. With one hand, they say, I apologize. The other hand, they celebrate the point. <laughs> That's natural. Yeah, and I don't think anyone will resent that either. 
A stinging spike down the line there from Lucas Kazdailis. To bring his side back to within two, 5-7. Sure, that'll fire both teams up as Rum Sivisius serves. Barakasov gets his shot blocked and is sent back on the first ball. Off the fingertips of Kazdailis that slowed it down enough for Rum Sivisius to find the gap. And Russia now, they've lost a couple of points in a row. And they're going to regain their composure by calling a timeout. The score 6-7 in favour of the Russians. And we talk about momentum. Little moments like that, big shots that can fire you up. They can really turn these games around. And Lithuania, in preceding points, have looked a much stronger outfit. And they need to be, because Russia started that third set very well. Those moments are very important, and you need to seize them. Let's see what happens after ti the timeout, how the Russians are going to react. Well, Vagrain embracing the CEV 2018 Snow Volleyball European Championships, welcoming the players back to court. Rum Sivisius to serve his team with trailing 6-7. And Russia straight back on the scoreboard. Rakusov dusting himself off, cutting across one on the line. Takes us to the second break. 8-6 after 14 points. Russia taking the first set 11-8 before losing the second 6-11. Good service from Rakusov. From Savisius. With the pass, Kazdailis with the finish, 7-8. Great line shot. He's showing a lot of confidence. He looks very calm and excited. He does, looks relaxed, doesn't he? Just looks like he's really embracing this moment. The opportunity to become the first men's medalist in a CEV European Championship. I think we all embrace in this moment, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Delighted to be here. And delighted that you've all joined us from around the world as well. Very warm well welcome to Vagrain. Perfect weight on the serve. Up goes Kazdailis again, hammers down and wins the point. It was great movement from Rakosov, though he read it. But it was just too hot for him to get a pass away. 8-9. Russia two points away from taking the third set and restoring their lead in this bronze medal final. Acres of space for Rakusov to punch into. And it's set point. Rakusov with the service. Kazdailis to stay in the set, he hits off the block. Bogatov got up. Kazdailis to serve, to stay in the set. It's 9-10. And here's the chance now for Bogatov. Oh, it's blocked! Rum Savitsius keeps them in the set. Kazdailis celebrates with him. When he served Bogatov, I thought he was wrong. I thought he should never serve the last ball in Bogatov, but I was wrong. 10-10. What a set we have here. Oh, but this time Rakusov makes no mistake. At the next break, Russia back into the lead, 11-10. It's set point. Rakusov rising high. 11-10, set point. The second set point for Russia in this third set. Bogatov with the service. Kazdailis into space. Bogatov was up there. Leaving a big space in behind and 11 all. This been the set of the match so far. Grunsivisius to serve.
Bogatov with the pass. Oh, what a shot that is by Rakosov. The pass was behind him. He had to reach backwards, but had the quality to find the space. Set point again. I think the first one that goes strong to the serve is going to win the set. They're just passing the ball to the other side. That doesn't work. Oh, it takes a lot of bottle to go aggressive with the serve, though, doesn't it? Oh, there's the block. Drops on the line. You see, I, I told you. I told you Bogatov has a nice block. And it's a Bogatov block that wins the third set. It's advantage to Russia in this bronze medal final. 13-11 puts them two sets to one to the good in this quest for the bronze medal. And Pedro, you did call it before the match. Bogatov, he's a strong blocker and he's come up with a big one at the right time there. Russia back in charge. I just said out of my experience, I was blocked by him so many <laughs> times. <laughs> he shows... He still blocks very well. Well, being blocked, as you said, is one of the worst things in volleyball. However, the positive coming from you being blocked all those times by Bogatov is that you can bring that to your commentary experience <laughs> now. He paid off. Fourth set time, Russia 2-1 to the good here in Wagrein in the bronze medal final of the 2018 Snow Volleyball European Championships. Lithuania in the red, needing this to stay alive. And that's a good start, Lukas Kazdailis. Very impressive young man, Kazdailis. So relaxed and composed. Plenty of quality in that left hand. Down the line from Rakusov. And why? 2 0 Lithuania. Well, response absolutely everything here from the Lithuanians. Oh, and that's well kept up by Rumsevicius as well, but just asked too much of Kazdailis. So much of a lottery. If you do get something on it, what will your partner be able to do? Nothing on this occasion. Russia off the mark. Lithuania 2, Russia 1. Off the block of Bogatov by Kazdailis. 3-1. Confident start here from the team in red. Now a chance for Bogatov to swing the right hand. That's well kept up. Oh, and a roll shot as well. All the hard work there coming from Kazdailis. First of all, keeping up the Bogatov shot, then getting on Rumsevicius's pass and finishing with a roll shot. 4-1, fantastic start here for Lithuania. As Russia call the timeout early in the fourth set. And again, that'll just be to try and stem this Lithuanian momentum because they ended the third set so well, Russia, but they looked a little bit cold again at the start of this fourth. I think they, they look a little bit tired as well. Both teams do. When you're on this height, maybe 2,000 meters, it's a bit complicated to play five sets. Of course. The altitude definitely playing a part here, the air a little bit thinner, and particularly for the guys that are used to playing on the beach. A lot of oxygen in that air. And of course, they've been playing a few matches over the course of a few days as well, and even though they're all in brilliant physical fitness, that is going to take its toll at some point as that serve just goes off the net tape. Oh, one-handed block! Rumsevitsia sticks out a left paw and stuffs it down off Bogatov. That was just beautiful. The crowd loves when that happens. Yeah, everyone loves it except the player who's just hit the ball, <laughs> I think. Oh, one of the plays of the day. Oh, and he goes again! Rum Savitsius having a lovely time against Bogatov at the moment. Two blocks in a row on the big Russian, and it's 6-1.
Russia running out of time in this fourth set. Lithuania only five points away. That's a good response though. Rakusov into space, no block in place. Service from Rakusov. That's good from Kazdailis. As I said in the beginning, the Lithuanian guys, they seem so relaxed, so confident in the set. Just in between points there, nodding his head with the music. Oh, and there goes the mistake. Too relaxed, maybe. Too relaxed, yeah. 3-7, but still a long way back for Russia in this fourth set. Could we be going to a five-set tiebreaker in this first ever CEV Snow Volleyball European Championship men's medal match? Here goes Kazdailis. Oh, into space, wins the point. Rakusov read it, but couldn't do enough. I just saw the Russian players trying something different. The defender faked go into the line and then came back to the angle. They gotta try something different and try to win the set. Well, oh, Bogatov. Lovely pass from Rakusov as well. When it is that traditional way, you serve to Bogatov, he makes the pass, Rakusov with the set, and then Bogatov with the spike. That's incredibly difficult to stop. Too much on that one from Rumtsevitsius. He just served in the middle. That's the trickiest one. Doing well to stay in this set, but then they make the mistake. And on a float serve like that, that's a free point, really. That's a gift for Lithuania. Now they're just two points away from leveling the match. Arnas Rumsevitsius to serve, wearing number one. 9 5. Bogatov with the set. Here comes Rakusov. Oh, blocked out. And it's a massive one. Lucas Kazdailis. Sending Rakusov back where he came from. And Rakusov perhaps a little bit too far away from the net to attempt that shot. Set point. On the second ball, though, Bogatov hammers down on Rumtsevitsius. It's very important to, to try to help your partner, especially in a moment like this. He's under pressure, 10-5 ten, ten in, the, in the score. Set point still. And the serve drops in this time. And they're going to go on the second ball, and they're going to finish it. Kazdailis levels the match. Lithuania take the third set by 11 points to 6. A fantastic response to going behind, and we are going to a fifth set tiebreaker. These are the kind of matches that make a day like this great. I think the tiebreak is going to be decided by who has the best physical part now. I think both teams are, are, are tired. Let's see who is more fit in this tiebreak. Yeah, error-free snow volleyball is required here. Neither team can afford to give gifts to their opponents. So the story of the match so far, Russia took the lead by taking the first set 11-8. Lithuania responded well, 11-6 in the second. Then Russia came through 13-11 in the third before once again Lithuania responded 11-6 in the fourth. They gotta do their best now. It's the last set of the week of the championship for them. Well, in the sunshine here in Vagran, perfect conditions. Well, Lithuania have won the crowd over. Lukas Kazdailis has got them revved up. They love his style, they love how relaxed he is. We've got flags waving in the crowd. It's a sea of color. The atmosphere, fantastic. And at the end of this set, we are going to have a bronze medalist. They've gone on the first ball. Oh, that's beautifully kept alive by Russia. They've asked a lot of each other, though. Perhaps that could have gone on the second ball. And Lithuania win the point. It's the left hand of Rumsevitsius. But what a pickup there from Rakusov to keep that rally alive. It was a great one. Unfortunately, Bogatov was not able to set properly. 
feel as though that could have gone over on the second ball though, because for Rakosov to get up and cover eight meters, I mean, he's a fit guy. But that a big ask indeed. He's got a chance to make amends here though, Rakosov. Oh, over the head, but Bogatov read it. Well, they're reading each other now. They've had four sets to have a look. Oh, that's gone long. We talked about not making mistakes. Kaz Dailis does exactly that. But that was a hard one because the ball came from, from behind. He couldn't see the whole, uh, the whole court. It was a difficult one. Russia won, Lithuania won. Rakusov serving. Once again, it's athletic from Rakusov. Rumsovitsia sets. Oh, and a block from Bogatov as well. It's become a little bit more attritional. On the battle at the net, two in a row. Oh, massive block as well. What a battle between Rumsevicius and Bogatov. It goes the Lithuanian's way. And Bogatov drops to his knees. Well, well, well. This kind of points are important to fire up the crowd. People love it. Well, the crowd absolutely loving it here. An early timeout called there from Russia. A nice touch of hands there between Kazdailis and Rakusov. There's a lot of respect between these two teams. But at the moment, the 50-50s the kind of going Lithuania's way. And ultimately, that could be the difference between two very evenly matched teams. I think in this moment of the match, the Lithuanian guys are in better shape. As I said in the beginning of the set, that's very important. It counts a lot in the tiebreak. Mentally and physically. Well, the referee's whistle goes and he calls them back out to the field of play in the quest for the bronze medal. Following this, we'll have the women's gold medal match followed by the men's gold medal match, building to such an exciting climax here in Wagrein. Lithuania with a narrow lead in this final set. The decider, it's up to 11. He must win by two clear points. And Lukas Kazdailis serves to Russia. And up goes Rakusov. Hits that long. There's no block in place. And Russia just trying to force it at the moment. Kazdailis to serve. He gets the signal from Lumsevitsius. Bogatov with the touch. But Lithuania read it well. And find the space themselves. Rakosov, such a good athlete, but he's not quite doing enough to keep the ball alive. But that's the thing, isn't it? On another day, that flies back. Bogatov finishes it. Such tiny margins. And at the moment, they're all going Lithuania's way. They lead 4 1 in the race to 11. Bogatov was complaining with the referee about the setting. Bogatov was complaining about the setting with the referee. They must try everything now. They look tired. They're behind in the score. Well, they will be tired. It's been a fiercely competitive, not just bronze medal match, but week in general. And they didn't have much time to recover from the semi-final. Up goes Bogatov. Oh, but Kazdailis keeps it alive. And now he'll have a chance to win the point, which he does. The Lithuanians just growing and growing into this fifth set decider. They're 5-1 to the good. And Russia don't have an answer at the moment. Lithuania is looking so confident now. Gazdail is to serve. A little bit extra on that serve as well. Rakusov. Off the net and out. See, after every point at the moment, Arnas Rumsevitsius, he's just putting his hands on his knees. He is running on adrenaline at the moment. Not in a very good situation right now. Lithuania absolutely flying. 6-1 to the good. Five points away from achieving a bronze medal here. Bogatov with the set. Here comes Rakusov. Oh, and a massive block. Rumsevitsius, you can almost see it coming. Everything going Lithuania's way at the moment. 
everything's working out for them now. They're on fire. It's Great a big block. ask of Rakusov, though. To, he's the shorter of the two. He's trying to swing through it from a meter or so behind the net. And he's going to have another go here. This time he goes long. Oh, and even that goes wide. Russia falling to pieces here in the Vagrind snow. Lithuania cruising to the bronze. They're 8-1 to the good. Bearing in mind, they haven't led in this match. They were 1-0 and 2-1 down. But the way they've responded to adversity has been exemplary. Rakusov once again. <laughs> Lucas Kazdailis looks like he's got all the time in the world. Got himself in a great position for the pass. Cut the angle, 9-1. Well, I think we've got a snow volleyball superstar in the making here, and he's in the number two jersey for Lithuania here. What a performance from that man. Finally, something goes for Russia. Rakusov off the Rumsevitius block, but 2-9, it's a long way back for the men in blue. The tiebreak score doesn't reflect what the match was. No. Not at all. No. However, it does reflect brilliantly on the temperament of this Lithuanian pair. As the pressure's got more, they've responded well. Look at that service from Bokatov, though. He's not done with this one. It's a high-risk strategy. He has nothing to lose right now. Well, he's crunched that one, hasn't he? he got to do that. Yuri Bogatov. With that hammer of a right hand, 3-9. Oh, and he puts it into the net. It's set point, it's match point. It is bronze medal point for Lithuania. Lukas Kazdailis revs up the crowd. And they've won it. Swinging across the angle, they have buried Russia in the fifth set. The tiebreak score does not reflect this bronze medal match, but Lithuania are the first ever men's medalists in the CV Snow Volleyball European Championships. They've come from behind to defeat Russia 8-11, 11-6, 11-13, 11-6, Eleven three in the tiebreaker, and that was absolutely magnificent. When the people who put this competition on dreamed of what would happen in the medal matches, that must have been at, at the forefront. It, it was perfect. It was an awesome five-set match. The way they came back, back from 1-0, then 2-1, to win the tiebreak like that, awesome match for them. Well, you are going to go courtside now, Pedro to try and get some interviews with those medalists. Kazdailis and Rumsevitsius have overcome Bogatov and Rakusov of Russia. Russia, of course, will be in the men's gold medal match a little bit later on as well. The queens of the snow are already out there. The Turkish pair looking to get the debut gold medal. They've won three on the tour already, but this would crown it all off. Huge congratulations to Lithuania. Kazdailis and Rumsevitsius just outclassing the Russians. Got plenty of quality themselves. Yuri Bogatov and Pavel Rakusov. Looked for so long like it would be them going on to the podium. But as fatigue set in, and the Lithuanians just seemed more and more relaxed, their quality went through the roof. And Arnos Rumsevitsius and Lukas Kazdailis will leave Wagrein with a bronze medal. A wholly deserved bronze medal as well. A remarkable performance, particularly in the tiebreaker where everything went their way. There were hammer blows, there were beautiful roll shots. And of course, massive blocks as well. Kazdailis coming up with the goods when it matters. The crowd absolutely loved him as well. He looked relaxed, he got in the spirit of things. And he's exactly the kind of character who's going to bring this sport of snow volleyball to the next level. We'll be hearing from the bronze medalists very shortly. Pedro Cunha is courtside with them. And in fact, it's time to go now. Pedro Cunha is with the bronze medalists. 
Well, congratulations on the victory. You had a great comeback. Thank you so much. I feel like very happy to make this like third place, but that was so hard. But it's now. It's not easy to do. So it's very difficult to play here. Okay. Uh, how do you feel to be the first medalist ever of the European Snow Volleyball Championships? Of course, it's like I'm very, very happy just to be here and that we took third place. It's very nice for us. We also have to thank the crowd to stop their skiing or snowboard for a while to watch you guys. I don't think so. <laughs> you, you have to thank the crowd for being here and stop skiing just for a while and watch you guys. All right. Thank you so much for <laughs> Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Petro Cunha there, courtside with the bronze medalists. The first ever men's medalists at this level. This, of course, the inaugural Snow Volleyball European Championships. The CV recognizing this as a world class sport, and it is. And what better place to host the inaugural European Championships than the home, the birthplace, the cradle of snow volleyball that is Vargrain. 2009, the very first time it was played here. It was one court with a handful of spectators and a couple of teams. And now we have 24 men's teams, 24 women's teams from around the continent of Europe. And now we have just two matches remaining. The women's gold medal match and the women's bronze medal, sorry, the men's gold medal match. And this is one not to be missed. Zumba Skyter and Polyviaita from Lithuania up against the queens of the snow, Hergildis and Vence from Turkey. And now we have a hot entry into the court. Ahead of the gold medal, we have the parachutists flying in. We talked about the atmosphere, we talked about the event, we talked about the crowds. And they are really putting on a show here in Wagrein. The Red Bull skydiving team. Absolutely flying in and coming in hot too. They had to be accurate. They've just got eight by 16 meters to aim for. And they've presented the match ball to the Lithuanians. And we're going to hear from them right now. They are courtside with Pedro Cunha. How do you feel to be here in the first European Soul Volleyball Championships? Yeah, man, it's good. Uh, actually, the weather is perfect today, and uh, the jump was pretty nice. And uh, with Marco and my teammate, uh, yeah, it was it was really really cool. Yeah. How do you feel about this atmosphere? Have you ever been in a snow volleyball competition before? No, not yet, but it's amazing. Uh, the view to jump over the Alps, it's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the, the 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 mountains here, the snow makes it even more beautiful. Yeah, and the view today is like, I mean, you see as like super far, huh? <laughs> thank you very much for the show. We all enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.